Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Dark Souls 3, A Guide to Covenants. I am Most Unexpected, also known as Rick D5R4, and in this video I will be explaining both the Way of Blue and Blue Sentinel Covenants of Dark Souls 3. These covenants depend on each other in order to function, so rather than make a video for each one, I decided to talk about both of them. First, I will tell you about the Way of Blue. The Way of Blue Covenant is the first covenant you gain access to in Dark Souls 3, found in the Cathedral of the High Wall of Lothric Castle. The Cathedral is just up the stairs from Bort of the Boreal Valley, the second boss. Talk to the only NPC to be found in the chapel. I am Emma, High Priestess of Lothric Castle and exhaust her dialogue to obtain the Covenant symbol. This farewell gift is for you. It is the insignia of an old covenant. If you fear trespassers, dark spirits drawn by the embers, then etch this upon your heart, and the old Concord will beckon noble blue sentinels to hunt these foul spirits. Equip the Covenant symbol so that whenever you are invaded by a red spirit who is not an NPC, another player from the Blue Sentinels or Dark Moon Covenant will come to your aid to assist you until you are safe from the invader. There are no Covenant ranks or rewards for the Way of Blue. Next is the Blue Sentinels. Obtain the Covenant symbol by talking to Horus the Hushed. The first time you encounter him and Anri, directly next to the halfway fortress bonfire, it's hard not to see them. With the Blue Sentinels symbol equipped, you will automatically be summoned to aid a member of the Way of Blue if the said member is within matchmaking parameters. You do not need to be embered up in order for this function to work. When summoned through use of this covenant, you will appear as a blue phantom who functions very much like a regular white phantom. Enemies can attack you, but your primary concern is the invader. Either kill the invader or escort the host to the boss fight to claim victory. Upon your victory, you receive proof of a concord kept, your victim's ear. Although this is indeed an item gained from success in the Blue Sentinels, the Blue Sentinel Covenant is incapable of using it because there are no Covenant ranks and rewards within the Blue Sentinels. The Covenant that actually uses proof of a Concord kept is the Blades of the Dark Moon, although this Covenant cannot be joined until much later and I am not going to explain it in this video. Don't think that makes the Blue Sentinels useless because you can join the Blue Sentinels early and then stock up on the rewards until you can eventually use them as part of the Blades of the Dark Moon. In summary, the Blue Sentinels protect the Way of Blue and both Covenants have no ranks. Dark Souls 3 is still a new game and the Covenants are subject to any future patches. I will try to update the description if any major changes occur. I hope you find this video helpful, and as always, feel free to comment any questions or concerns after you have already checked the video. If you want to see more guides to covenants, please like and subscribe, and comment on which covenant I should feature next. Thank you.